Hello, grandchildren. Okay, well, what I'm going to do today is tell you a story, but not with just a couple of verses like we've done up until now. I'm going to give a story of two cities that were very, very bad. They were full, full of sinful people who did not love God, did not want to have anything to do with God, and insisted on living in in their sin and in their disobedience to God. And so it's a fairly long story, so I'm going to cut it short and just give you some of the highlights, some of the most important parts. So the three men who have had this meal with Abraham are about to leave and go on their journey. And then what happens is there is a conversation because the one of the three men who was probably the Lord Jesus, he says, man, I, I'm gonna, I need to tell Abraham what I'm going to do. And so he told Abraham that he was going to go and look at these two cities that were down in, way down in the valley. They were called Sodom and Gomorrah. And he was going to go and just to see exactly how they were and what the situation was. Now, he already knew it, but many times in the Bible, God acts and speaks according to our understanding, the way we can understand things. And so this is the way he did it. And so he had a conversation with Abraham, and Abraham didn't want to have those cities destroyed necessarily because of all the people, and he didn't understand everything that was going on. And so he he talked with the Lord, and and finally, through a conversation with the Lord, he he got it down to where if the Lord went to the city and found 10 good people in that city, then he would not kill those cities. And so, well, the Lord goes down and there is one man living in the city who is Abraham's nephew, Lot. We've heard of him, I think, before. And he's actually living in that city. He had no business going to that city, but he did anyway. And in the process of going to a bad city, his family got all connected and all affected by the wicked things in that city. And when the when the man told him, hey, we're going to destroy this place, uh, you need to get out. Well, then he went, he went to get his family out and his friends and nobody paid attention to him. They thought he was crazy. Ah, oh, God isn't going to destroy the city. No way. Absolutely not. And that's the way many times people who do not love God and people who live in sin and rebellion and refuse to do what's right, they don't believe that they're ever going to get judged. They don't believe that God is ever going to make them um, answer for their sin. And so in the end, when these people said, they told Sodom, these men said, you got to get out because we are going to destroy this city in the next little while. If you don't get out, you're going to die in the city. And so they said, we're, we're not supposed to destroy the city until you get out. So Abraham or Abraham Lot leaves the city with his wife who doesn't want to go. She doesn't want to leave the city. With his two daughters, they don't want to go. They don't want to leave the city. They're all, they all enjoy because they probably had a nice house and they had a bunch of friends and they had a bunch of money and they didn't want to leave the city. But Lot knew that, that God was not joking. This was a, this, he had to leave. And so he grabbed them all and they started, they started running from the city and the and the angels told them do not look back to see what happens to the city well as they're running away the four of them lot his wife and the two daughters lot's wife can't resist and she looks back the bible says when she looked back she became a pillar of salt god turned her into a statue of salt and then uh, well, while she, when she looked back, God was destroying the city with fire from heaven, and he completely destroyed the city. And even today, if you go to where those cities used to be, you can't find anything. The most people have been able to find is some ashes from the fire that God rained down on top of that city. 
very, very um, sad story and of the city and of Lot's family. And it tells us that we need to be very, very careful with sin. We should, when we sin, we go to God immediately and we ask forgiveness. And God will cleanse us because of the blood of Jesus. Okay, well, that was a quick version of a long story. Okay, goodbye.